Welcome to the human immune system, a 24-7, no coffee break military operation that never asked for your permission and definitely does not care about your weekend plans. This strategic briefing treats your body like a war zone because honestly, that is exactly what it is. Every day, hostile invaders attempt to breach your borders and your immune system responds with the emotional restraint of a fire alarm that goes off when you burn toast. First, we have the pathogens, bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites. Tiny freeloaders whose entire life mission is to sneak into your body, set up camp, and act surprised when they are violently escorted out. They enter through the usual weak points, your nose, mouth, cuts, and that one time you forgot to wash your hands because you thought you were probably fine. Enter the innate immune system. This is the security guard who does not ask questions and absolutely does not negotiate. Skin blocks the door, stomach acid dissolves anything foolish enough to survive the journey, and inflammation shows up like an overreacting supervisor yelling, I saw that. No paperwork, no trial, just chaos and swelling. Then things get serious. The adaptive immune system arrives like an elite task force with PowerPoint slides and facial recognition software. Antibodies are deployed, floating around tagging enemies like sticky notes that say, this one right here. T-cells follow orders with terrifying efficiency. Helper T-cells coordinate the attack like generals who have read the manual, while killer T-cells remove threats with surgical precision and zero remorse. The real flex is immunological memory. Once your immune system has fought an invader, it never forgets. Ever. Decades later, it will still recognize that virus and respond faster than you can say, wait, why do I feel sick? This is the biological equivalent of holding a grudge and weaponizing it. Of course, sometimes the system malfunctions. Autoimmune diseases occur when the immune system decides your own tissues look suspicious and launches a friendly fire incident. Allergies are what happen when harmless pollen is treated like a national emergency. Congratulations, your body has declared war on peanuts. Zooming out, epidemiology steps in to monitor this chaos on a global scale. Health organizations track disease spread like chess masters watching a board where the pieces refuse to behave. Quarantines, vaccinations, and containment strategies are deployed to keep populations safe, or at least safer than they would be if everyone just guessed and hoped for the best. In summary, your immune system is an overworked, hypervigilant defense network that saves your life daily without thanks. You are welcome.